Ex President Duterte, I take full legal responsibility for drug war. Wow. <laughs> Ulul. <laughs> Ito ang sabi ni Nitolo. Ito ang article ng GMA News. While being firm that he will not apologize for his administration's war on drugs. Okay, tamo. Tapos sasabihin mong you will take full responsibility. Pero ayaw mo mag-sorry. Diyos ko naman. Yung first step, hindi mo nakagawa. Diyos ko. Skipping a step. <laughs> Ilang first sentence pa lang. Ang ng comment. <laughs> While being firm that he will not apologize for his administration's war on drugs, former President Rodrigo Duterte on Monday told a congressional hearing that he will take full legal responsibility on the matter. So, hindi siya magsasorry, pero aksyonan natin yan. Speaking before the Senate Blue Ribbon Subcommittee, Duterte who asked the panel for him to be treated as a witness. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Gusto mo ba mag- maging witness? <laughs> Only pala yung pagkakabaso ko nila. Duterte, who asked the panel for him to be treated as a witness, defended the police officials who executed the drug war, saying he himself will take responsibility for the drug war killings during his administration. Ito ang sabi ni Duterte. I and I alone. take full legal responsibility sa lahat ng nagawa ng mga police pursuant to my order. Ako ang managot at ako ang makulong. Huwag ang police na sumunod sa order ko. Kawawa naman, nagtatrabaho lang. Wow, may padrama effect. Ito. Duterte also said that he carried out the bloody drug war in order to protect Filipinos. According to him, he tried his best to address the country's problem on illegal drugs firmly and without compromise. We at ma-address ang problema sa illegal drugs o para mas solo ang ating market, di ba? Ano sabi niya? My mandate as a president of the republic was to protect the country and the Filipino people. Do not question my policies because I offer no apologies, no excuses. Ano daw? <laughs> I did what I had to do. Wow! Kami pa magpapasalamat sa iyo. Whether you believe it or not, I did for my country. Dagdag pa niya. The war on drugs is not about killing people. Eh, ano? <laughs> It is about protecting the innocent and the defenseless. Balik tada tamare. <laughs> the war on drugs is about the eradication of illegal substances such as shabu, cocaine, heroin, marijuana, party drugs, and the like. Eh, ano nang yare? <laughs> but meron palin, but lagana parin yan mga kaibigan, di ba? The former president also said he told the police and soldiers not to abuse their authority and power both when he was mayor of Davao City and when he was president. Wow, wag daw mag-abuse. <laughs> However, he pointed out that it is the responsibility of the police to overcome the resistance <laughs> if the criminals do want do not want to, resu- to surrender. <laughs> Wow, ito sabi niya ha. Pahinga natin. Ambasayan na pala natin. <laughs> at kung may baril, at kung sa tingin mo ay mamamatay ka, barilin mo. Barilin mo sa ulo. Patayin mo. <laughs> wow! At least one less criminal in the community. Yun ang utos ko when I was a fiscal and when I was a professor sa police academy. Ha, napakagaling. <laughs> Pero anyare, may tanim baril gang. Gusto. <laughs> Duterte said he was always viewed people addicted to illegal drugs as victims and patients requiring medical help and not as criminals. Pero ba't pinapatay? Diba? Ang sabi niya ulit? No mistake about it. I hate drugs. I loathe the purveyors, the merchants, and the pushers of this demonizing element. <laughs> I have not failed to emphasize this from the very day of the campaign when I ran for the presidency, ah, presidency. presidency in 2016. This was my covenant to Filipinos who believe in me. Wow! <laughs> Government records shows 
that there were at least 6,200 drug suspects killed in police operation offer <laughs> operations from June 16 to November 2021. But several human rights groups have refuted this and say that the number may have reached as much as 30,000 due to unreported related killings. So, ayun ang pinag-uusap, uh, ang pinag-ahanan dito dahil sinasabi ng government data na 6,000 lang ang napatay. Pero dahil nga may unreported, maaring 30,000 daw ang mga napatay da sa drug on war na ito. So, ayan. Sana ito din makasuhan. <laughs> ano pa masasabi niya mga kaibigan? sa mga pakanan itong loko na to <laughs> comment down below